Fearless Queens, welcome back to Life with Loki and I hope all of you are keeping well as from the last few videos featuring my Hermes Paris haul and lucky scores including this gorgeous Birkin I have been on such a lucky roll and still cannot imagine I finally own a brand new Birkin from the uh, Fubu Sante Nore boutique Anyhow, since the memories are still fresh in my head Today, I will be talking about how to prepare for your Hermes leather appointment if you manage to score one. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Loki and I enjoy talking and sharing about luxury and most importantly, Hermes. I also indulge in pre-love and vintage finds and find all of them very fascinating. So I would love to invite you to subscribe and join my corner and let's get started. Now that I have been there and done that, I can understand the anxiety and stress from getting the dream Hermes lottery appointment. It is a mixed feeling of both happiness with worry and self-doubt and of course there will, will be so many thoughts running through your head. It is inevitable to feel confused and unsure what to ask for. So today I have decided to create a simple checklist to get all of you ready for the leather appointment which may surprise you anytime and when you least expect it. This may apply for ladies um, who are completely new to Hermes and of course even to ladies who have shopped with the brand for a very long time, which may be way easier for you by now. Well, from personal experience in the Hermes leather appointment, you would need to have a rough idea of what you're after, meaning the allocated time for an appointment would not be enough for the SA to give you a basic tutorial about all their leather bags and leathers and colors for you to choose from. Somehow, some basic information about the brand and bags is already required and expected of you when you rock up to the appointment. I will be touching on 10 tips on how to prepare yourself for the Hermes leather appointment and if you have any specific questions regarding bags or colors or leathers, do feel free to drop me a comment and I will surely be happy to help you out. Well, to start with, know the different basic bag designs like the differences between a Kelly or Birkin and which style works best for you. It is absolutely okay if you like both as well, but don't do know the basic differences. Also, do find out about the other bag designs like the Lindy, Picotan, Airbag, Garden Party, which are all very lovely and highly sought after as well. Because in the event there are no Kellys or Birkins offered, you can still request for other bags if you appreciate the design. For myself, I have not owned a Constance before and was open to the idea of a Constance as well. Which is why when I was asked if there are no Kellys or Birkins, what other bags I preferred. Which was an instant reflex answer for me. I also love the design of the Lindy and the Picotan. But for these two designs, I'm a bit more picky with sizes because I already own a Lindy 30 and a Picotan 22, which are on the larger side. So knowing the back design will be a good start. Now, know the size options of the back designs. Say for a Kelly, know the sizes offered for the Kelly design and even better if you have, have a chance to try it out in store or at your local boutique. Sometimes there are Hermes Kellys on display at the boutique which are not for sale but the SAs would be more than willing to let you try out the sizes. Personally, I don't follow trends as I believe in buying bags that will last me a lifetime, which are classic sizes and functional and can still be used even if I'm in my 80s. I also believe in trying out the age, the size against your own frame to have an idea. Ultimately, the Hermes leather appointment is for you to fulfill your wish list dream bag and I don't believe in settling for something that is not suitable for yourself. So do some homework or maybe go earlier to your appointment. There are so many beautiful bags on display to have a look first before you decide. I would also encourage you to have backup sizes just in case certain specific sizes is out of stock. Well, now colors are the next most important thing. What do you lack in your collection and how do you want to curate your collection? Well, for me, after assessing my entire bag collection, I realized that I have too many colorful Hermes bags, but I do lack a bit of neutrals, which I have decided to start curating 
more neutrals in my bag collection this year. Since uh, the video I prepared about my entire Hermes bag collection, which I will link it up here, I have started to list more classic neutrals on my wish list and was really hoping for light creams or light greys to show, to show up. Recently, on the pre-loved market, the prices have skyrocketed for neutrals, so it didn't make economical sense to buy them pre-loved and the only way is to score one um, in the boutique, which is to start the Hermes journey myself, which I am more than prepared to. Down in the main floor of the Fubu Sante Nore store, there are many beautiful colours to look at to familiarise yourself with. I know some of my friends and even myself use Instagram and YouTube videos as reference. So do have a list of colours you are prepared to have on your appointment because that will certainly help the, the essay out and also help yourself in scoring your dream Koda bag card. Hardware is also something you will be asked at the appointment. To me, definitely certain leather colours go way better with certain hardware. But if I were really picky, I can be really specific in my request. However, to me, it is not a deal breaker, which is why I was initially open to any coloured hardware to maximise my chances of scoring a bag. However, if everything being equal, I actually really like the gold hardware against most leather colours. Well, off the top of my head, there is gold, palladium and rose gold. I think there is permabras as well, but I'm not sure if that is only available in special order. And the black for so black bags. But those will be red. So most commonly, just gold, palladium and rose gold hardware. And now, down to the letters is another tough decision-making process. But firstly, ask yourself if you like a slouchy soft leather or a tough rigid one, or maybe something in between. Leathers are not easy to decide, especially if you have not touched it and used it for yourself. For me, I classify them into three types. Soft and slouchy would be Clermont and Swift, usually used in return bags and picotants. On the other extreme, we have stiff and rigid leathers like Epson and Box. These leathers will hold their shape for days on end. Uh, the mid-range ones, which I find best, is the Togo leather. Well, this Birkin I got is in Togo and holds its shape pretty well, which I like and is my first Togo leather in, uh, uh, in my collection. For myself, I was open to the option of any leather as I appreciate all sorts of Hermes leathers, so I wanted the essay to surprise me. I actually really hope to get a dream Bohemia leather one day, but I know that will be really hard to get as it is a heritage leather and will certainly narrow down the back options if I insisted on a Bohemia leather. Well, of course, being courteous and building a relationship with your essay also plays a part in scoring your dream bag. I'm sure the leather associate would want to make your dream come true and that is precisely why they set up the leather appointment for a reason, to give you the exclusivity and time to discuss your preference. Well, but having said that, be polite and not entitled because it is also natural human behaviour to help someone who is pleasant and someone who gives you equal respect. Essays are also humans like us and doing their job and I'm sure they have heard about the Kellys and Birkins a thousand times in a workday. So I believe by having some idea of your dream bag is uh, what your dream bag is and delivering that message in a polite manner can help your SA narrow down your dream bag back in the storeroom and finding what is suitable for you. Personally, I don't believe it when they say there are no Kellys or Birkins available. I think they only meant that there are no suitable Kellys or Birkins for you at this stage. Keeping your expectations low can certainly elevate the surprise element. Scoring the leather appointment does not promise you a Kelly or Birkin because there are just so many variables that could affect the outcome of the appointment. Go with a happy heart and overall keep your expectations low. Be mesmerized by the luxury house and what it has to offer, but most importantly, enjoy yourself. Personally, I always feel excited about everything Hermes, from the history to their stories, their innovation, their leathers, and the excellence in their craft, 
And I think from that, you can very easily tell how interested a person is in their brand. Similarly, go with the excitement to your leather appointment because the SA can certainly tell from the vibe you give off. Be excited about the brand and the excitement of the quota bag and the leathers will come naturally. To me, owning a Birkin or Kelly is not about the prestige of toting, around, toting one around, but treasuring the craft and having the privilege to own one of the iconic bags of the house. So the essay is there to find you a, suitable, um, a bag most suitable for your style and for your preference, for your own personal use. Now, don't overthink and create such a broad wish list hoping to get anything and everything from the boutique. Personally, I think some people may try to game the system by creating such a broad wish list that even the SA may be confused. I was also tempted to provide a very broad wish list uh, at first, but as I do love most Hermes colors, however, if I were to keep to only one Hermes bag, then I would really need to be more specific but focused. Overall, be genuine with your preference and state your reasons and most importantly, be yourself. Ultimately, the short conversation between the leather SA and you will need to start off on a good basis of trust first for your SA to find you and your dream quota bag. And of course, and most importantly, is to prepare some cash to pay for your goodies. Go prepared with the right credit cards or cash. And of course, if you're from abroad, also do make sure your cards are eligible for overseas usage and it has a generous credit limit. Other boring bits are your passport, which belongs to the same name that scored the leather appointment. Uh, the Hermes Boutique also will help process your tax refund via Global Blue, of which you have the option of the refund going back straight into the same credit card, which I found it so fast, free and easier than before. As far as I know, if you intend to pay in cash, I think the maximum the store will allow is $10,000. Well, well, that's just a little bit of information I know and I would just like to share. Well, after all, it is a bit of preparation for the Hermes lottery appointment, but it is all well worth the effort of scoring your Koda bag. As it is also a lot of information to absorb, I do suggest starting your research journey and reading up into the brand in advance if you really are into Hermes. I hope this short 10 tips will turn out useful for anyone who has successfully scored the Hermes lottery appointment and has yet to attend their appointment. I will encourage those who have also successfully scored to share your stories down in the comment section below as it is after all a learning curve for all of us. As this list is non-exhaustive and as everyone's situation is unique, these tips are broad guidelines that can help uh, be further refined according to your own style. Well, just enjoy yourself and congratulations towards your first step of owning your first Koda bag from Hermes. Well, if you found this content useful, then please hit that subscribe button and click that like button as well um, to join my channel for more practical Hermes content. Take care queens and goodbye.